So I realized a few weeks ago, as I was setting up this office, that I needed another Xbox One X specifically for this location, but I also didn't want to spend a lot of money on an Xbox One X, mostly because in, what, like seven months or so, eight months maybe, we're going to have the Xbox Series X that everyone's pretty much going to be upgrading to, and it appears to be backwards compatible with pretty much all the Xbox One games, so that's what most people are just going to be moving to, myself included. But I still needed to get one for the time being, as games like Doom Eternal and others that are coming out from third parties, I would be playing on the Xbox One X for capturing footage and all of that. So I took a look around, and I found an interesting eBay listing that I thought could make for a fun unboxing video where we check this stuff out. You guys seem to like when I buy random stuff on eBay or any of these places and we check them out here because this is apparently a factory refurbished Xbox One X and it was on eBay for $200 and they were selling very, very fast. They appear to be sold out, but I did manage to get one here. It just took a little while to get here because the mail was a little funky recently. So I guess we'll unbox this guy and see what a $200 factory refurbished Xbox One X from eBay actually is when it shows up. So I guess the plan here is to really just see if it actually is a complete Xbox One X. I don't know if it's just the system. They didn't really have a ton in their description but it did at least appear that it would show up in functional order as they said in like their uh, their description that it was at least guaranteed working and all of that. But $200 for an Xbox One X seems like a really, really good deal. But it is eBay, so I guess who really knows anyway. And uh, huh, it actually looks like an, an, oh no, I guess it says, does it say refurbished on it? It just says Xbox One X. It's in the box though. That's a little surprising. Even has tape on the top here. Let's get it out of, I don't know if there's any packing information in here. Okay, so we do have one piece of paper here that I, I just need to double check, maybe cut uh, some info off of. Okay, no, it, it's, it says, yeah, one ninety nine nine and then $12 for tax. It says right there, uh, two, $211.99. So yes, a one ninety nine nine. Xbox One X. The shipping was I, was free as well, yeah. So uh, again, pretty good deal on uh, on eBay there. I guess we just gotta we're gonna cut it open. I think what we'll do is we'll we'll go ahead and get this guy open here, and uh, I, we'll take a look at it and hook it up. That might be the most surprising part is that it oh it even has the it even has like all the extra paperwork and everything here. It does say does it say refurb? Oh, it does. Okay, so it does say refurbished right on the front. One terabyte refurbished, reconditioned. So maybe this is just a seller who had a bunch of the Microsoft refurbished ones. So these look like what you would get from Microsoft at this point. The fact that it comes with like all of this paperwork, it, it kind of advertises the Xbox Design Lab. It does show you how to set it up. It, it'll be real interesting if it has double A's because that's I know that's uh, that's something that Microsoft will drop in all of these. But if it's a reseller, they might not have decided to include double A's in it. So let me just throw that back there in the box and uh, pop this guy out. Well, it definitely has everything here. Uh, it looks like even, yeah, it has the controller as well. Like I said, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get a controller with this, but there it is. It has HDMI cable. The, uh, the These are the ones from Microsoft, I believe. Yeah, high speed HDMI. Here's our controller and I gotta say this controller it looks, it looks good. It has the headphone jack on the bottom, so that's good. I, I would kind of expect that with the, an Xbox One X. But again, if it's a reseller, they may have just paired a different controller with it. Although, this just, this looks really, really solid. Let's, uh, let me see. Oh, it did have batteries. Look at that. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, this might just be, I guess, a seller on eBay who just had a bunch of these reconditioned ones. Or maybe they were selling for Microsoft as like a... I don't know, a third party or something. Let's drop these batteries in and see if this controller pops on. Well, the controllers drop it on there. Everything, like this feels like a brand new controller. That's interesting. Even like the glossy part on top where you'd expect there to be a bunch of scratches, it's like nothing. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a good looking controller. Power cord on the side here. So we do have our HDMI power and our console. So I guess we'll finish unwrapping the console and we'll plug it in. What I'm kind of curious about is if they have like the warranty seal on it, you know, or they'll like they'll add like an extra warranty seal for the back sometimes if it's refurbished. I'm curious if they have that on this one. That's the only way I can probably tell that it's even 
a refurbished system. Okay, so here's our full system. Not even like a, a scratch on top here. I wonder if they like changed the casing out or something. I, I'm honestly searching for some kind of defect here to what's going on. Uh, there's our there's our warranty seal right there. It's still in place. Like it looks like it hasn't even really been opened at all. It says Xbox on the side there. Now refurbished could also mean that it was a return, but there was nothing really wrong with it, I guess. Because this, I'm just trying to look for some kind of defect on here. Mild scratching right here, I guess. There's our hello from Seattle. Our Xbox One X message on the side that they left on there. They had some fun little Easter eggs in the uh, in the Xbox One X. So the only thing I can really see here that makes it obvious that this was worked on is it does say service date right there, and it is uh, July 10th of 2019. So it does have one of those official stickers from the factory from Microsoft. So it would have been opened, and the torque screw on the left does show some signs of kind of being messed around with a little bit. We'll open it up, but let's go ahead and plug it in first. Well, it's starting up. Uh, that sounds good. It came right on there. I still have to sync the controller up, but I mean, there it is right there. Uh, so let's get this controller synced up here. I do have a game I was gonna drop in. The thing with the Xbox One is like the startup takes forever. Like it's, it's such a long, startup process to get it going. Uh, so there we go, the controller is synced. I think that's probably what it's gonna, yeah, okay, so it's gonna tell me to sync the controller, press A. There we go. And then at this point, I would just have to go through and set up all of these different things. So I'm mostly interested at this point if it would turn on, if the controller would sync, and if it would take a game in. That is pretty much it. So I have Devil May Cry 5 here that I'll just drop in. Just want to hear the disc spin up. It is doing so. So we have picture. The disc seems to work fine. Spinning reading. Controller syncs up. It did see wireless networks when I went past this part. So uh, uh, at this point, I guess I just gotta. We're gonna open it up and take a look inside. But functionality, it looks pretty good so far. All right, so I'm really surprised about this. I didn't think it would show up in this kind of condition, but I am really curious if there's anything obvious they had to fix inside. So while we have it here, we may as well take it apart and see if there's anything we can spot. I've taken apart a few Xbox One X systems. Obviously when it came out, I took it apart. There was also one that I repaired for wood beat-em-ups a little while ago. It had an issue with the power supply. It got a bit of a, a jolt uh, through a power surge. And mostly just had to replace that. I might even still have the footage. I think I still have the footage for that. This is a video we were gonna do a while ago and we just, just everyone got busy, kind of forgot about it. But that's mostly uh, what I've had to do with the Xbox One X. And of course, took uh, mine apart again to put kind of the, um, the liquid metal on it. And that actually has worked out pretty well. It's been pretty quiet ever since then. Although the Xbox One X is already kind of quiet. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I did take it apart. I checked it out completely and it was fine. Like it, it's almost like no one even really worked on it. Although I guess there could have been some things that were different. Like the thing that I looked at in there and I said, okay, maybe, maybe it was this, the hard drive, like the hard drive could have gone bad and they decided to change it out. It's always possible. It's possible that there was something in the disc drive in the system as well. Like maybe somebody jammed something in the slot loading disk drive and they had to open it up and take that out. But even that looked like it wasn't really messed with at all. So from what I could tell, it was a pretty good Xbox. But just for fun, here is a montage of me taking the Xbox apart to Halo Music.
So I ended up spending some time with the Xbox. Anyway, I just wanted to make sure because it once again, it's like a $200 Xbox One X comes in the box. Everything looks really, really good overall. And I spent a day or two with it just playing games as I went along with it. And it hasn't given me any issues at all. The fan doesn't get loud. Everything plays fine. It updates no problem. Even the controller is in really, really good shape and works 100%. So... I can't guarantee that these recertified systems that are popping up online at pretty good rates is going to be the same thing for every one person who buys it because, once again, used systems and refurbished systems are definitely luck of the draw. But I am seeing these pop up. Newegg, for example, has these in stock. Apparently, these recertified Microsoft recertified Xbox One Xs for like $230 with, I think, free shipping on it. I know it's $30 more than I got this one for, but... That's still a really good price for an Xbox One X that's still supposed to be retailing MSRP for 500 I know a lot of times you can find deals for them and it comes with a game, but like this is a good system if you just want one for another room or something, or maybe you are looking to grab an Xbox One X now, I guess, leading up to the Series X. Maybe you don't want to spend 500 on the Series X and you just wanted an X for like the next two years to get you to when the Series X starts getting games just for that system. It's, it's not bad. Like, it's not a bad price. But interesting, nonetheless, to find this now starting to show up online and get a chance to take a look at one. Let me know what you guys think about the Microsoft recertified Xbox One X systems that are popping up on eBay and even now Newegg and some other places. Uh, I'll link down below to the Newegg one. But again, I can't guarantee it'll show up just like this. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure you like the video on the way out if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. And I'll see you next time.